Okay, here's a picture representation of cestodes or tapeworms. So you got tape here, cestodes. Um, up here, there's cystocerosis. Uh, it's got lots of cysts, and they're macroscopic, so you can see them with the naked eye. Um, somatic infection begins with larval tapeworm. Um, they have, uh, they usually uh, infest the uh, subcutaneous tissue, muscle, brain. Uh, they form space-occupying lesions, uh, which are encased in by inflammatory response. Uh, so that's kind of the, the buzzword there. Uh, treat it with uh, albendazole if it's symptomatic. Uh, taniasis, tiny, taniasis. Um, this is intestinal infection with adult tapeworm. Um, you find it in cattle and pigs, and so it occurs by ingesting poorly cooked beef and pork. And that's why I'm the vegetarian. Well, not the only. And then you get hymo, hymen, olipiasis. Hymen. That's what he says. Um, this comes from the dwarf and the rat tapeworm. Adult t tapeworms uh, are confined to the intestine. Um, treat with uh, praziquantel, the prazi the piranha. Same with uh, tineasis. Um, you got two phylluses here. Phyllis, phyllis. So. Diphilobothriasis, diphilo, and this happens from poorly ingested, or poorly cooked, uh, or raw fish. That's what the fish is for. It's in the small intestine, and it competes with the, uh, you know, for B12. So um, you might see some uh, B12 deficiency uh, type signs, and you wonder, hmm, do they have a tapeworm? Um, Echinococcus or echoing coccyx. Hello, hello, hello. And they got cysts, really big cysts. Um, causes a hydatid disease and large cysts. Um, over here is sparagen, sparginosis, sponge, sponginosis. It's acquired by drinking water, eating poorly cooked meat, or using um, using a stake on your eye um, when you get a black eye. You know, like old dime movies and stuff, you can pick up this um, this tapeworm. And another uh, treatment can uh, be nic nic niclosamide, niclosamide, or nickel. Okay, so these are the cestodes.